Hello super user. Today we're going to learn how to put multiple instruments on one staff. Now this is especially useful if you have a very large score such as like an orchestra score where you'll often want to put like both of the flutes on the exact same staff. And so today we're going to learn how to put them on the same staff in the score but yet still have separate staffs in the part. Now let's dive in. Now the first thing we want to do is set up the score to make sure the score actually looks right. So I'm going to go to my score manager for this piece. Um, and we're going to click on the flute All right? and we're going to change the name. Now we want it to say flute 1 and 2. I personally like the 1 and 2 to be above each other so this is how we're going to do this. One goes on the first line, two goes on the second line. And so that way they're actually level. We're going to highlight the 1, go up to text, baseline shift, and say point or 0 0.075 which will shift it up a little bit. Now highlight two, and we're gonna do the same thing. Text, baseline, shift. Now we wanna shift this one up even more so that way they're centered right next to the flute. And so we're gonna say 0 0.15, okay? And okay, and if you look at the score over here, it says flute one and two. Now we're gonna to have to do the exact same thing for the um, abbreviated name. So I'm just gonna copy it over here on the full name and we're just going to paste it into the abbreviated name. That way I don't have to work with all or mess with everything again. And so you can see on, multi, on the successive lines now, it'll also say flute one and two. So this is nice, except for the fact that when we look at the part, flute one and two will still be on the same part. So we're going to go back to the score and we're going to go up to document manage parts. This will allow us to actually separate the parts. So First, we're actually going to delete this flute one and two part because we don't want a part with both the instruments. And we're going to actually create a new part instead. Edit part name, flute one. Okay. Now we're going to add the flute. Over here is the actual staffs that we're doing. Here is the parts. So we're going to actually add the staff to the part by just highlighting it and hit add a part. Um, and then we want to specify the voicing. So there's a couple things we want. First of all, we want to select the second button so that way we can have in measures that contain multiple notes, we want the top note, right? And if there's multiple layers going on, we want layer one to be selected. If there's only one note on the first layer, it'll cut put into both parts this way. But this case, in case we have a divisi with two parts, or we have something in layer one and layer two, it'll automatically take in whatever is part or whatever is in either the top note or in layer one. So, okay, now we're going to do a very similar thing for the second part. New part, edit part name, flute 2. Again, add the exact same part. And this time when we specify voicing, we want to have it be the bottom note or whatever's in layer 2. So now that we have that created, hit OK. And you'll notice that we have a flute 1 part and we have a flute 2 part. Now it already went and made the multi measure rest because that's why Finale set up. Uh, and you'll notice some things like let's. Let's just add in some notes, right? Now if we go to the parts, flute one will have those notes and flute two will have the exact same notes except for the one measure that we had the divisi. That's measure five, in which case they will be different. So if you look at the score, measure five was where the difference was. Now, just so that way I can show you, let's add in another part in layer two. So now if we go to the second flute part, you'll see it's taken layer two, but not the layer one part, while flute one has the layer one part. And with that, we're almost done setting this up. The last thing we want to do is let's say, um, let's just start adding in a solo. Right, that's a solo. We want this to be a flute one solo. The only issue is, now they're, it's going to be in both the flute one part and the flute two part. So how do we keep it in only flute one? Now the answer is, if there are anything in any layer, flute two will get the second layer. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to the third layer and just insert some hidden rest into the third layer. Okay, why aren't we putting the rest in the second layer? We'll get there in a moment. So now that we have hidden rest in the third layer, 
we can go over to our flute one part yep still there flute two part not there anymore and we have rests now we could have just put the rest right in there in the second layer but we wanted empty rest so that way if we were to actually add multi-measure rests it would insert the multi-measure rests together if we had actual rests actual real rest in there we wouldn't get the multi-measure rest and that's how we can create solos and the same process goes if we want to have a part in flute one right or in flute two we want something like that then I would normally yeah we can do layer three again then we'll have real whole rest and the keyboard shortcuts that I'm really using is whole note R for rest H for hidden and so now we'll have a very similar thing or flute one will have the original part with multi-measure rest flute two will have the second solo with multi-measure rest for flute one was playing and so the process works for both. The last thing we have to consider is in the score, we want to dictate and show who's actually playing what part. So there's a couple things we're going to do. The first is we're actually going to say if flute one's playing this part, we want to show that flute one's playing that part. If flute two's playing the part, we want to show that flute two's playing the part. If both of them are playing the part like up here, we want to show that both of them are playing the part. But again, we run into the issue of now we're going to actually have these random numbers in the parts that the players won't know what to do, it's even with the A2. So in the flute 2 part, we are going to right click it, um, and we want to unlink it to the score. So any movement whatsoever will unlink it to the score and uncheck mark show. So now show is not un now show is not checked. So this will make it hidden in the part. Whereas if we go back to the score, we'll see it in the score. Notice how it's a darker shade of yellow. Yellow means they're unlinked between the parts in the score. And now we can go and do the exact same process for the other things. We want to unlink it or unlink it and then unshow it. Same thing with over here. We want to unlink it and then unshow it. And there, oh, I forgot. Unlink and unshow. So there we have it. One stave in the score for two parts in the actual parts with everything sorted out correctly.